Well, Mr. Chairman, when you came to South Dakota, and I know it wasn't the only state you visited, you have been busy, sir. Uh, you and I heard loud and clear about the priorities uh, from South Dakota families and farmers. And uh, I adopted those as my marching orders for what we needed to get into this farm bill. And I got to tell you, Mr. Chairman, uh, we got all five of the big ones in. First off, from a real broadband perspective, and that was my line of work before I came to Congress, you look at the last farm bill for a, 15, uh, for a project with a 15-year term, uh, the build-out speeds from an upload perspective were 18 megabits per second. This bill increases that to 250 megabits per second so that we're building networks that don't just work today, but that uh, will be good five and 10 years from now. Secondly, livestock. You and I, sir, heard, uh, heard that it was important that we built capacity outside of the big four with the A-plus Act and the Butcher Block Act inside this bill. We do that. Number three, we heard about uh, inflation and about the need to increase reference prices in Title I. This bill does that. It also provides a critically important voluntary base acre update that is going to make a big difference in farm country. Number four, we know that uh, our country has the best beef, beans, dairy, pork, uh, chicken, just about everything else. And when we have access to other markets, we can win. Willing buyers and willing sellers, people want our agricultural products. Just in little old South Dakota, sir, it's $5 billion a year. That's $5,500 a year for every South Dakotan every year. This bill doubles uh, emphasis and investment in market access programs like MAP and FMD. It will uh, mean big things for farm and ranch country. And then finally, number five, we know that you don't have to idle acres to have successful conservation programs. Uh, that's not to say that there isn't a role for CRP, but working lands conservation is an incredibly powerful tool to make sure we're working with farmers and ranchers to put into place uh, those uh, practices that can improve soil health, improve water quality, and improve habitat. And indeed, this bill makes a pretty big, has a pretty big emphasis on that as well, sir. Uh, I would also uh, thank the committee for the inclusion of important bills that I've pushed for, including the SAVE Act to safeguard U.S. exports from unfair trade practices, the SNAP Tribal Food Sovereignty Act, so we can give those tribal governments the opportunity to manage their own SNAP programs in Indian country, and then also the New Beginnings program. It's been an incredibly powerful program to take those first-generation tribal students, bring them to those land-grant schools, and make sure that they have a real chance to succeed. This is a heck of a piece of work, Mr. Chairman. I'm looking forward to today's markup. I'm looking forward to getting it signed into law. With that, I yield back.